Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to use the interface designer of IntelliJ IDEA to create a Java frame. So I have already cre uh, created an empty Java project and to add a new Java frame I need to select source, then file, then new and here I will use the interface designer. So I select swing user interface designer, then GUI for now I have to create two files, the form file and the java class file. So I will provide them with the following name, main frame. So I will use this name for the two files. Also I will select this layout manager to create my frame. So let's click OK. And here the two files have been created. This is the form file and it allows me to create the frame using the interface designer and this is the java class which is empty for the moment so here this is the interface that i need to create so this is uh, a g panel and i will add different components into this g panel so let's add a label then for this label i want to modify the text i want to call this label first name now let's add a text field so i will provide it with the full width also for this label i will remove this space and for this text field i want to modify the variable name so i will call it tf for text field first name Now let's add another component. So I will add it, uh, uh, a new label with the full width. For this label, I want to set the text to last name. So I have to modify the text property. Now I need to add another text field. So for this text field I want to modify the name of the variable so I will call it tf last name. Now let's add another uh, label. Also I will add two buttons. So for this first button I will modify the text, I want to set OK as the text, so I will modify the value of the text property. And for the button name I want to call it btn OK. So for the second button I want to set the text to clear. And for the button name I want it to be btn clear. Now I will add some spaces. And for this label I want it to be empty because I will modify it from the Java code. Now let's take a look on the appearance of this frame. So I will make a right click then preview. So this is the appearance of the obtained frame. So let's close it. And now if I go to the source code, as you can see, I have only four global variables. But as I said, this label, I want to be able to modify it from the source code. So this is the label that I want to modify it from the source code. So I don't find it here because I did not provide it with a name. So for this label, I will provide it with a name. So I will call it LB welcome. And now if I go back to the source code, I will find it just here. Now what I should do if I want to be able to show this interface into this class is to make a frame here. So I will add extends gframe. 
then I will add a constructor here. So in this constructor, I will just make a copy of some statements that I have already prepared. So I will set this title, I will set this dimension. When I close this frame, I want the application to be stopped and also I will make this frame visible. Also, I cannot run this class because I did not create the main method. So I will do this now. So if I run this, I obtain this empty window. This is because I did not set the obtain the the, the interface that I built using the interface designer into this frame. So to correct this, I will close this frame. Then I need here to set this G panel into the obtained frame. So I need this G panel to be accessible from the Java code. For this reason, I need to provide it with a name. So let's call it main panel. Now, if I go back to the Java class, I will find this main panel here. So I will add it to the frame. I will call set content panel. Now let's run this class again. And this time this frame is built using the interface that I obtained using the interface designer. But for the moment the two buttons are not responsive because I did not add a listener to these two buttons. So let's go back to this interface designer and let's make a right click on this OK button and now I need to click on create listener so it will be an action listener and in this window I will click on OK so here I will add the statements that allows me to read the content of the of the two text fields and to put this content into the welcome level so let's do this Now let's add a listener to the second button. So I will go back to the designer and right click on this button, then create listener, action listener, and then OK. So in this listener, I will make the text fields clear and the welcome button uh, and the welcome label clear also. So let's do this. Now let's run this class. So let's provide the name Bill and the last name Gates. So if I click on OK, I obtain this text. If I click on Clear, the texts will disappear. So if I click on this Close button, the application will be stopped. So as you can see, the application has stopped. So this is all for this video. I hope it is useful for you. Please subscribe to the channel.